What's up, socials? How you doing? Oh my gosh, I haven't been in front of my bookshelf in forever. It feels so great. Do you like the new emoji? I feel like that's who I am. For today's episode, I wanted to do something special. So I went to my 30 Days to Better Vlogging Facebook group and I asked them to submit the channels that they have on YouTube. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a few of those channels to talk about trailers, how you can be leveraging them, how you can do them better or right, etc. This requires we go over to the computer, so let's do just that. Starting here with BKBB. I kind of like that he's embracing the underscore, but I don't think it's necessary. YouTube is making it easier, and I do understand if they're holding you back in some ways on growth that uh, the changing your name might be difficult, but from what I understand, it's not that difficult. You link up your YouTube channel with the Google Plus account, you can change your name. And I kind of wish the name was a little bit more interesting. I don't see the point in having the underscores, and I just wish there was more explanation here, other than the fact that obviously this has something to do with barbecue. I I also don't like that there is no person in the avatar, but that's not pertaining to the trailer. All of this is very similar. The branding is very generic. You kind of get an idea of what it's about. It's about barbecue, but the trailer just sort of goes through these different foods. It doesn't really tell you much about why I would want to subscribe. And you re you're relying a lot on text here because that was fast moving text. I don't want to read it in the first place. And that's supposed to tell me what this is all about. And another trend that I'm going to see a lot going forward, because I've looked at these channels already, is people calling their channel trailer a trailer. And I don't like that. I think it's obvious it's a trailer because it's the thing that automatically plays when somebody shows up to your channel. However, you can get more creative than that. And there's a couple of different things you can do, not just renaming your trailer, but we'll talk about more options later. I would have preferred to see something different in the headline of this trailer more compelling as to why I would click the subscribe button. And a lot of people also forget about this section of copy for the trailer. The trailer is just like every other video. You get a description section. But for the trailer, the description section is taking up half of the freaking channel before somebody decides to subscribe. Look at all that space. So it's great that he did a little bit of written work on, hey, welcome to the channel. But when you're looking at that from the viewer perspective, it's not as great of an experience as it could be. Uh, there could be links there saying, here's what you can do next, or some really nice copy that says, hey, if you subscribe, you know, you, a unicorn will get its wings, like whatever, like do something to compel people with that copy to get them to subscribe or to take a next step with you. That's what I would have liked to see here. So just a couple of things there, and we'll probably see some recurring trends. The next channel I wanted to pull up is Blossoming on a Budget. So alone, the title of the channel is supposed to tell me a lot of things. Now, there is no trailer for this channel. I would like to see a trailer for this channel, but it doesn't have to be more work. Like I said, we can get creative with ways to have a channel trailer without it having to say, hey, this is a channel trailer. You can use one of your existing videos to be your channel trailer. That's actually what I recommend. It's what I do. And let me explain more around that because probably the video that he she's done at some point in time is going to tell me more about what blossoming on a budget is than a trying to figure this out and b getting a trailer that tends to be stuffy people sit in front of a camera and say i guess i have to explain what it is i do you're pitching people and i personally think you should let the work speak for itself um, when i first looked at this channel i actually didn't even read the title i I think I thought it was something along the lines of sort of like an eating journey, um, maybe like a healthy eating sort of vibe. And I think that's what's going on here, but I don't know. I'm happy there's a face in the avatar. There's nothing in the cover art that really tells me anything else about the channel either. That's really great human SEO. That's an opportunity right there to say, hey, this is what's happening here. This is copy that I'm putting in the cover art that's not SEO friendly, but you're a person that's on my channel and I'm hoping when you read this, you're gonna wanna stick around. So that is what I would really like to see here. I wanted to bring Meredith into this. Meredith is a member of Social Authority and 
just a rock star all around. She has a fantastic trailer. She really kicks it off like, hey, I'm Meredith. How's it going? Where to find background music for videos? You really get a great indication right away of the vibe that you can get from her channel, which is why she's done a great job of accumulating more than 4,000 subscribers. It says in the cover art, Vid Pro Mom. I mean, you can pretty much draw a conclusion from that. She's got her smiling face in the avatar. The trailer starts to play and she's got her branding on there. She's talking and she's giving you the advice that you would want rather than, hey, here's what I do on a regular basis because this is a trailer and I kind of have to be stuffy and uncomfortable. Just let the content speak for itself. Not to mention, you guys, when you put the trailer in the spot for the trailer, if you want more views on one particular video that you think deserves more views, put it in the trailer. Because if people discover you at all and then they come back to your channel page and what automatically plays is the video that you're most proud of, Get some views on that. Have it be the thing that people see. I really think people underestimate the fact that you should show off your best work or what you feel like is your best work for a trailer situation rather than a, an interview process, which is what most trailers look like to me. CM Coleman potentially could be in that camp, although I, I, I like this video because he really does phrase it in a way that do you even care about my content? Let me tell you why. Because he asks it in a way that's very like, are you going through this? Like, could I help you with this? And that's cool rather than, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I like that. Again, I don't like the name of the trailer. But even more importantly, I wish that the cover art was a little bit pared down because there's a lot of information there. He posts a lot of times per week and it's important for people to know that, but I don't think that the concept every single day is important and all of that copy is just taking up too much attention. I think it's distracting people. But really good job on the thumbnails. I really like what I'm seeing here. I just wish that you also, Coleman, would let your work speak for itself for your trailer rather than having a stuffy trailer. But if you feel like it's appropriate because of the variety of content, I understand that. Just rename it. Make it an enticing title and then have some copy there other than your P.O. box and your social links that are going to send people away. They're going to make people want to stay and subscribe. Finally, Louis Lavella. I love this. His channel trailer is an interview he did with Lady Gaga back in the Just Dance days. Like, that's crazy town. That was a long time ago for Lady Gaga. Uh, but this is fun because it kind of gives you an idea of who he is and what he, what he does and, and, and who he talks to on a regular basis. So if that's the vibe that you're trying to get out there, then awesome. I would have liked to see, um, even if you're using an existing video for your trailer, look at the description for that video and think about how you should be leveraging that space. Look at all the white space there underneath lavella.ca. I would have liked to see how I can work with Louie or, or what else I should know about Louie and why that link matters. Of course, the Lady Gaga information is important because that's relevant to the video itself and is probably helping it get its views because it's a it's listing for Lady Gaga. But what's underneath that can be something more along the lines of getting to know Louie. So think bigger about how your channel can work for you, but don't do more work if you don't need to. Uh, I might as well pull up my channel. I didn't even think about doing that. But if you look at my channel, my channel trailer is, and I want to see this as a new visitor. My channel trailer is the Snapchat talk. And that's because it's sort of a funny take on social media. And I wanted people to see something that was very high production and get the vibe of what my personality was like. So that's an example of how I did that. And you can see like all the links that are important to me are in that section. So you see something and there's arrows pointing. It really draws you in in that description on what to do next. Ideally subscribe, but you can do a lot of things that would make me happy. Sign up for my email list, download a thousand video topics, etc. So just a couple of examples of trailers and channel reviews. I hope will help you today with your YouTube channel. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. If you would like to be eligible for potential channel review in the future, sometimes I do them live in the group. Sometimes I do them here, as you can see. Please join the 30 Days to Better Vlogging group. Now keep in mind, we're not allowed to share links in that group. It's a very much a hang out and talk to people kind of place, but every once in a while, 
I will ask you to submit your links, like in the introductory post or in something like this. So make sure you only post your link when you're asked by an administrator like me, or just go and check out all the great information in the meantime, because the conversations, the resources, the tools, the advice that people are sharing with each other is fantastic. I'll see you on the next one. Like this is me.